Hi, my name is Steve Fulton and welcome to Real Magic Review. This is Eclipse by D. Christopher and the 1914. Before I talk about this item, I'd like you to have a look at another item. It's called Car Magic Course. And it's on the internet. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say then. Uh, carmagiccourse.com, my online car magic course, going from strength to strength. Loads of stuff happening. It's wonderful. I love it. But don't take my word for it. Check out what other people have to say and, uh, and have a little look at it yourself. $9.99 a month or $22.99 for gold membership. Uh, and that means you can join in on the live sessions. But even with a $9.99 membership, you get everything you need. You get all the live sessions uploaded afterwards. So that should be fine for most of you unless you want to get involved in the community. So there you go. Uh, and like and subscribe, check out Carl Man. Oh, I've just said that, haven't I? Mm -hmm. uh, habit. Uh, isn't the brain a wonderful but very flawed thing? Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. That's what I was going to say for notifications. Right, fly me. Sorry about that. But you know, we're only human, aren't we? I'm, uh, I'm going to show you these now. These are from the 1914. And as you may know, if you watch my show a lot, I like the 1914 very, very much. Because everything they've brought out is great. There's nothing that I haven't liked yet, but they're going to drop the ball at some point. Everybody always does. Uh, I'm not, not saying they will, actually. They might not. Uh, and I thought this one, I kind of went, all right, it's a, it's a ESP. Now, I'm always in the market for an ESP deck because it, there's not loads of really good ones around. There. Now, there are few really good ones from people like media people like that so some great ones around but not loads and 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 these i thought okay what are these going to be that are any different and they're marked i think i can say that it's cool you know we're all magicians here and if you're not a magician what are you doing uh get, get in life right hmm. um <laughs> so these are a bit special first of all they're very nicely made and they are they're very nicely the, the, for want of a better word, it's not a font, is it? I suppose it is a kind of font. The, the line, I don't know what you call it. I'm not a designer. But the, the, these are very stylish, very minimal, um, very crisp, very lovely, as is the design on the back. Very minimal, stylish, crisp and lovely. And they're plastic, so they can withstand everything. They'll last you forever. You can get them wet. Not, oh, you don't take a bath with them or anything. That wouldn't damage them because they're plastic, but that's not what I'm saying. But if you put them on um, tables with drinks and stuff like that, if you're a worker... Then, uh, then you'll be fine, and they're not going to crease. They're just, they're just great. So, so the the things themselves are brilliant. So, what's so special about these? And that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, you know, do do we do we need another set? Uh, and they are very special. That's what they are, because I done a little few experiments today. The the marking system is really good. And, and it is really good. And you can tell that they think it's really good. Because when they're talking about it, on the, they're very genuine guys, um, Lewis and Dee. And they're talking about it on the download. You can just see they're really into it. And they're very proud of themselves and as they should be. So what makes a marking system good? Well, first of all, it's the ease of reading. And these, I think, are the easiest marks I've ever had to read. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm sure somebody might say. But I've, I've had a fair few now. And these are just instant. Within minutes, I could do these absolutely 100% equally, instantly, but re really specially, really special. Does that work? Does that work? Yeah, really. But no, it doesn't sound right, does it? But uh, importantly, that's better. I can read them from the end of the room. Why would you want to do that? Well, you want to do that because what low light, end of the room, and knowing that if somebody kind of walked away a bit, you wouldn't have to kind of follow them. <laughs> <laughs> this looks a bit weird if they kind of lean back. You don't have to kind of put your glasses on. Even, I would say, even if your sight isn't amazing, I, I struggle, struggle with short sight, all right? So I'm blurred here, and I'm just, there's just no, there's, that's a star. There's just, there's just, I have to check, check, that's the wavy lines. Um, and I'm I'm just cutting them, that's the cross. I'm just, <laughs> I know I've got them right, but I can't help checking wavy lines. I can just see them straight away. There's just no effort cross. Um, and... There's the uh, across, so and, and they're blurred for me. So the point is, when you're looking over there, you, you, nobody wants to be putting a pair of glasses on um, to be doing their trick, do they? <laughs> Which are not going to be looking at anything. 
So that's special. I can look at the, I'll put a little bit of footage on. I can put, I can shuffle the decks and not look at them, put them on my little stand over there, walk to the other side of this room and just look them straight away. I can see it. Right. So I know this isn't, it's, look, it's stay in the office. Sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll cut the pack so I can't see them and put them on there. And then I'm going to go right the way over here and see if I can read them. And I haven't spent much time with these. All right, that's the circle. There you go. And just one more. I'll give him another, another cheeky Charlie, eh? Put that there. Right over here. So that's, look at that. Look, look. That's miles away, right? That's a wavy line. There you go. I'm totally impressed with it. These are without, gonna, without a doubt gonna be my go-to. There's just no error. Brilliant. So that's good. So on their own, I reckon these are worth the 30 quid. No affiliation, by the way. Um, they are, they're, ju they're just worth the money. I'd, I'd spend 30 quid on a set of cards that are gonna last me forever. There's gaffs in there as well, the gaffs that you're gonna need, all that. So there's the product, brilliant. Then you've got the download. I would no doubt also pay 30 quid for this download if I had a normal set of ESB cards. Because what this download is, it's a 25 minute act. They, they've really put, put a lot of effort into this. It's a two and a half hour download. Obviously it's got the intro, what you get, all that kind of stuff, but then it goes into the 25 minute act. And there are a number of routines in the act that kind of build. So you can take this act, learn it all. And people might say, why would you learn it all? It's somebody else's act. I would, I would, if I didn't, if it never worked with ESP cards, I would watch this download, copy the act, just copy it and learn it and maybe perform it because you, you know, you've got the blessing to do that. And, and what will happen is after learning all that and performing it, and it's all really easy, by the way, there's nothing in here very difficult. There's no sleight of hand involved. There's a couple of kind of things you have to rehearse and practice moves ish, but not nothing skill wise. Um, and the scripting obviously is really, really important, but I would take that, copy it, perform it for a few friends. They even, at the end, take you through the whole setup because it, there's other things you're going to need like envelopes and there's one trick that needs a, a gaffed envelope that you can either make or buy. It takes you through the making of it and I'll just buy it, to be honest, because you can get a couple, not very expensive at all. But the rest of it you can do with just the cards, normal envelopes, everything like that, a banknote. And it, it tells you how to set it up and you've got this whole uh, act that you can, that, on, that sits on a glass on the table and you've got 25 minutes there. It's, and they're good tricks, they're not filler. The first one is ESP opener, which is a really lovely multiple out routine. I'm sure it's okay to say that, but without the weak out, that's the important thing. Most multiple out routines have a really weak out, one that you really don't want them to hit. There's one that's peachy and the rest of them are totally and 100% fine and you're gonna get a really strong reaction. There's sensor, which is a, uh, a kind of reading with a fingertips routine which ends up with a, a kind of free will. It's got, it, that in itself is a kind of mini act actually because it's got three parts. I think it's three. It's got the fingertip reading. It's got the, oh, it's got an envelope. So they put, f you fingertip read five cards that they've put in any order they want. Um, obviously by not looking at the faces of them, you then go into this envelope thing where they have three cards and they put them in any order they want in the envelope and they pass them to you and you predict what order they've put those cards in. Then it ends up with this kind of free will principle where you say, right, put, take one and put it in your left pocket, uh, put it in your right pocket and leave one in your hand and you, you predict that. Really nice, really special, lovely, and that on its own would, is gonna teach you loads. And don't forget with all of these, you get all the little subtleties, the scripting, you know, Lewis and Dee scripting. Lewis is great to watch for this sort of stuff. He really knows his stuff, they both do. And incidentally, Dee is the one performing this whole show. And Lewis comes in with like, for example, after that one, I think it is, he comes in with his own version and his addition with a one that he predicts all five cards on a, on a card, on a business card, which actually fooled me, weirdly enough. And when he told me how he did it, I wasn't going. Uh, but actually, no, I was very pleased. Uh, really nice. So that's Sensor. Uh, after this, you've got Gambit. Now, Gambit, I think, is the jewel in this whole thing. It's, Sensor's great, and Gambit's, it's, it's just, it's really nice. And it starts off with, uh, they put the, I think I remember it right, they put all the cards face down in any order on the table. You give them an envelope and, and first, oh, first of all, you've got a tenner off them, uh, put it quartered into an envelope, that's fine. 
Uh, they put the envelope on any one of those cards, they read a message and they see that they've, you've predicted the card that they're going to put that envelope on, which is really, really nice. And then it finishes up with a, um, a serial number prediction, which is, it, found, it sounds like those two things wouldn't go together, but they totally do, a serial number on the note. But the way, again, he tells a story around it and why he was on the train and he thought of this number and he opened the envelope you've just put on that card. So, again, it's kind of a multi-stage thing. It's really special, but it's got some really nice clean-up tips on it, which, again, don't need any sleight of hand, but just make it really clean. And I just thought it was really, really good. Very good. And then after that, we've got a distance thing, which is a whole routine based on... He says it's kind of like a... It's not like a big piece, but it's a a way you can finish off just saying, you know, it's, it's hard to get these psychic readings or however you want to frame it at distance. So he said, I'm going to stand right over here and you do, as I was saying, you you get your reads from far away. And then Lewis has got a couple of bits, a couple of routines. One is almost like a sneak thief routine, if you know that routine. Um, but he, he's really special. He does this really nice way of practicing muscle reading. If you don't know what muscle reading is, read your tar bell, it's all in there. I'll give it a Google. But a way of put it in the routine and testing if it's going to work. If it isn't, you've lost nothing. If it is, great. And then he's got a, a way of finishing using muscle reading, which is, um, which is again, a, it's, it's foolproof. But a great routine, that. And a lovely bit of scripting around why, why you would get them to, to pull you towards a certain person. He talks about butterfly flying into the room. Just really poetic, really lovely. After that, and I know I'm getting this group, but I think you should know what you're getting. Uh, after that, the, he's got this routine, which is a, a very simple matching routine, but his, uh, his way of doing it is very different from Dee's, which is kind of why it's on there, I think. Instead of talking about ESP, he talks about the, the sort of history of these kind of symbols and the fact they're on cave paintings and all that. So he comes at, at it from a different angle, and he does a matching routine in a very different way using readings, basically, instead of just going, look, they match, and being psychic, he's saying, I think you would have chosen this one. So he reveals his first, and then they reveal theirs, and he's been correct in what he thought they would choose. So there's kind of a different logic behind it. And then, you've, like I said, you've got the outro and them talking about um, even things like how to de deal with difficult spectators, which is very funny, actually. They're, what's happening, I think, they've done a lot of filming now, and they're starting to get a really nice chemistry on camera, and, and, are kind of, and they're, all their downloads have been great. But they're very good fun to watch. And I actually, watching a two and a half download was just no effort for me to watch at all. I really enjoyed it. It didn't get bored and learned a great deal. I think this is a real, like, you've got this set of cards which I'd pay 30 quid for on their own. You've got a download which I'd pay 30 quid for. You've got them both together. And I just think it's a masterclass in using these kind of cards. If you learn just some of this stuff, you're just going to be able to come up with your own ideas because it's a simple thing. There's just these five symbols. You can do all this with them. Again, the gaffs will allow you to do loads of other routines. And there is a couple of bits that use the gaffs in this and the way he finishes the routine. Uh, it's great. And th there really isn't any challenge with it. I suppose some people might say, well, for this routine, I need to get or make this envelope. And I'm, it, it's really not a problem. So there you go. Oh, and the, the box is always... I love their minimal style as well. That it just comes in this lovely black box, which is important, actually. That is a decision. You know, they didn't want a box that looked like some sort of psychic in institute thing, which can really fit most people or a lot of people, and they didn't want one that actually gave away anything. It was just a plain box so you can create your own, um, your own thing around it. So really, really good. Really glad I've got them. I've got an ESP set I'm really, really pleased with that I can read if the lighting's bad and... And like stuff, and there's really nothing to fool with about them. They've, they've, they've come out with another corker, so I really suggest checking them out. That's Eclipse uh, by D. Christopher and a 1914. Great download, great product. Uh, use the links below if you're going to get it. Not an affiliate link, but uh, but it's nice to do that, isn't it? Have a good one. Take care. Uh, oh, like and subscribe. Check out carmagiccourse.com. Cheers. Bye.